guys, I'm April. Welcome to my apartment and happy Halloween. Today we're gonna make mason jar jack-o'-lanterns. They're a quick and easy Halloween decoration in case you need to decorate last minute like I usually do. And they're also apartment friendly. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified when I have more DIYs coming out like this. Let's get started. After you've washed your mason jars with soap and water, you want to give them a rub down with rubbing alcohol just to remove any extra oils that might be on the glass. Getting all of these oils off the outside of your jar will make sure your paint adheres better to the glass. There's different methods you can use to make these lanterns and I'm going to show you four different ways with four different characters. The first one is going to be Frankenstein. With this method, we're just going to take some neon green acrylic paint and paint the outside of our jar. In all four of these methods, you want to make sure to paint the outside light enough that light can still shine through, but dark enough to get your desired color. Now that our light layer of green paint has dried, we can paint on Frankenstein's face. You want to do a one-to-one -one mixture of paint to glue. This is going to help make sure that the black paint is thick enough so that way the light can't shine through it and the face is illuminated. Now that we have his face painted on, turn on our light, drop it in, and put the lid on. And you have Frankenstein. The next character we're going to make is a skeleton using frosted glass spray paint. I also spray painted the lids of the jars black and white. Now that our jar for the skeleton has been frosted, we're going to paint on the face. Once you've got your face painted on, just turn on a tea light, drop it in, and then put the lid right on top. And you have a frosted glass skeleton. For our mason jar jack-o'-lantern, I just spray painted the outside of the jar with a light layer of orange spray paint. Turn on a tea light, drop it in the jar, and put the lid on. And now you have a mason jar jack-o'-lantern. Our last mason jar is going to be a mummy, and so we're going to decoupage the outside to give it that torn, decayed cloth look. But first, we need to paint on his eyes. The first thing you need to do to decoupage the mummy mason jar is rip up strips of white tissue paper. They can be all different sizes and lengths as this will add to the mummy effect. What you're going to do is take a foam brush, dip it in some Elmer's glue, apply it directly to your jar, and then stick your tissue paper right to it. Then just go ahead over top with another layer of glue. The last thing we're going to do for our mummy is glue some of this stringy gauze-like fabric around the jar to make it look even more mummy-ish. All I'm going to do is just drape it around. I'm just gonna go over this with a little bit of glue to help hold the string down because we definitely don't want our mummy to unravel. Now that we have the string glued on, just turn on a light, drop it in, and close it up. And here's our mummy mason jar lantern. 
Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Let me know in the comments below how your mason jar lanterns turn out. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that little bell so you get notified when I have more DIY decorations coming out like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!